G'day, it's Pete here, and I'm back again for another weekly free instant tournament. As usual, go up to Solitaire and then weekly free, and let's uh, let's compare. All right, board number one, uh, four triple three fifteen count. Not a great one, but pretty normal one. No Trump. Two spades. Okay, so the robots play something that I don't typically play, but this is minor suit statement. They are literally asking me, do I have a four card minor? Three clubs says I got clubs, three diamonds says I got diamonds. Two no says I don't, and a minimum. Three no says I don't, but I'm uh, maximum. So two no, three diamonds here. Looks like it's forcing. Um. So uh, I guess just three no. Hey David, hey Roadrunner, welcome. Really glad they let a diamond. <laughs> um, so, all right. Uh, this looks like I kind of just need to find the Queen of Clubs, more or less. Um, the opponents can probably take four spades and a heart. Um, you know, Ace could have Ace King of Spades. Uh, here, West chose a passive lead. Um, if they had, like, I could finesse clubs either way with this holding. Um, now, if West had the queen of clubs, maybe they would have chosen a club lead. Oh, sorry. If West doesn't have the queen of clubs, maybe they would have chosen a club lead instead of a diamond. So uh, the fact that they've led a diamond for a passive lead sort of implies that they don't have another passive suit. It's not like... Uh, I guarantee like they could have passive like three low diamonds and three low clubs or something and just chosen a diamond uh, but they could have equally chosen a club from that holding um, so the I'm tempted just to like lead the jack of clubs at like trick two uh, now you could run all the diamonds try and get some more information but I've got a blockage in clubs um, for instance, let's say I run five diamonds, I play a club to the ace, and then I lead the jack of clubs and West covers. I still only get five diamonds and three clubs, so I feel like I want to tackle clubs before I run the diamonds here. Hey, Dennis. So, yeah, uh, here I'm just going to lead the jack of clubs because they might cover with the queen here. Yeah. And now I have my uh, nine tricks. Okay, clubs with 3-3, three, three, and the diamonds will run, and I'm just going to pull a heart towards the king, most likely, once I've cashed my winners. Okay, they get that, and I'm not getting any more. Okay, 92% to start with. A uh, bunch of people going off in 3 no, some people getting to four clubs. Some people downgrading the hand. Anyway, uh, board number two, and East opens a heart. I've got a 17 count. Um, so my choice is I could bid two diamonds. I could double and then bid diamonds. I could just treat this as balanced and bid a no trump. Um, I'm pretty tempted by just bidding a no trump. I think bidding some number of diamonds is probably like a better spot, but I really don't know what to do in diamonds. If I bid just two diamonds, it's maybe not strong enough. And if I double and bid diamonds, maybe it's too strong. So I'll just choose this middle ground and um, uh, bid uh, one no trump. And partner inviting, I've got a maximum, but also having a six card suit. Even if I had a 15 count with a six card suit, I'd be in accepting the invite there. Roadrunner said, I feel like it's a really good idea to downgrade your hand. People on board one getting punished. Uh, sorry, I feel like it's really rarely a good idea to downgrade your hand. Yeah. Um, 
But like, there is a time and a place for downgrades, but I can't remember the last time I actually did one. Uh, right, so I kind of want to pick up the diamond suit. If I can get diamonds, then we're all good. We've got eight there and I've got 17. So that's 25. So there's 15 points missing and East opened the bidding. So it could be like 12 and three. We've got the two of hearts lead. So West presumably has some length in hearts. And uh, East has ace, queen, jack of hearts there. Now, um, we'll lay down the ace of diamonds and do I want to finesse the diamond? Like, East doesn't have to have the queen of diamonds. Uh, is it more likely West has doubleton queen or East has three to the queen? Um, I could do something like lead the queen of clubs now. West, if they have the king of clubs, would probably cover. If they cover the king of clubs, then um, if they have the king of clubs, I don't think they can have the queen of diamonds. Um, if they don't play it here, then I'll just go up with the ace anyway. And uh, I'm just going to toss all my clubs away. And then just play ace of spade spade unless I see the uh, king of clubs appear. But another three now. King of clubs was offside, 82%. Here's how uh, some people handle this. So some people bid two diamonds. You get a raise to three diamonds. Might have tried three no trumps over that. Uh, yeah, they, they seem the, the main choices. I haven't seen anyone double and bid diamonds. Yeah. Uh, right, board number three. Uh, here I've got an 18 count, uh, so I'll trade it as 18, 19 balanced. Uh, three hearts here is just like a good raise of clubs. Uh, we would have six clubs on, but sort of at match points, I tend to just bid three no trumps and um, if I've got a stopper and go from there. And six clubs is a good contract. Um, you've just got one spade loser. Uh, six no trumps, uh, sorry, six, so I'm in no trumps, I'm trying to one work out is there any way I can get 12 tricks. Uh, I've got four diamonds, probably four clubs, two hearts and a spade. I do need to play the clubs carefully in case there's a 4-1 break, uh, but it looks like, um, yeah, looks like no. Um, yeah, so uh, if anyone's got four clubs, it's probably the East player. So we'll just play Ace of Clubs up towards the King. Now we can finesse the, uh, the Jack on the way back. Wes is just throwing lots of hearts. And they just get the final two in case less Wes is throwing too many hearts, but I don't doubt it. Seventy eight percent. Did miss the slam, but 78% is pretty generous. No one did slam there. Yeah, three no looked pretty normal. So we've gone three no making, three no plus one, now three no plus two. Maybe I should just bid six no trumps. 
<laughs> I get a hand where maybe I will. Maybe I will. Okay, so we've got 16 points and partner's got uh, uh, 15 to 17, or 15, 16, because it's the best hand tournament. We're at 31 to 32 points. We've got a spade fit. Partner could have three aces. Looks like I just want to start with a transfer to spades and then just bid four no trumps. Who's got two key cards without the queen of spades. We've got two aces. We're off the queen of spades um, and an ace. Uh, if I'm going to play slam, it's definitely in six no trumps. Let's go ahead and bid it. We probably just have enough points, but we might not actually play in spades. This is pretty dicey uh, here. Okay. So, how can we make it? I probably should have just signed off in five spades when I realized we're off the ace of spades. But we could have just had like a nine card fit. We could have just had enough tricks outside. Could have had the ten of spades. So we got the six of diamonds lead. And uh, I got a heart loser. I guess in, if I played six spades, maybe I could have like, if they don't lead a heart, Six spades is like six spades is better if they don't lead a heart. Okay. Uh, I could just play for them not to find the the killing switch at trick two. So like, let's say I just hop up with the king of diamonds and just lead a low spade, and someone wins the queen. If they're not the if they're the person that doesn't have the ace of hearts, they might not know where to like where their partner's ace is and they could go wrong there um alternatively i could play for something like doubleton eight of spades in the west hand i could just like run the jack of spades uh if there's a singleton queen of spades that's no good singleton 10 might be good enough them not covering could be good enough. Yeah, I think I just win and lead the Jack of Spades. And if Wes wins, they still might not be the, they still might be the person that doesn't have the uh, Ace of Hearts. So they still might not know what to do. They were the person with the Ace of Hearts. So they knew very promptly what to do. Out of the spades break. Yeah, they're all good. 21%. So some people are in six spades going down. Someone made six spades. It did get the club lead. Okay, so. Why aren't people making slam? Oh, like you can throw your heart away, but you still got a diamond loser. Right. It's far from easy, yeah. Anyway, I thought six no trumps was a reasonable shot. What did partner have? They had they had 15, bunch of queens and jacks, no ten of spades, no third spade. We're still tracking at 68%. Um one heart from my partner, and I've got an a game force and I don't want to just bid two no trumps. I could just bid three diamonds here. Take my diamonds, but uh I've got right I probably want to play three no and right siding my hand is yeah well partner's got hearts and spades three no looks good protecting my king of club seemed pretty decent All right, well, entries here are a bit of a bummer. I've probably got six diamond tricks. 
Uh, a heart lead is kind of annoying. So do I just continue a heart? And then just pitch a spade, but then I'm in the like, so let's say six diamonds to heart seven. If I cash all my diamonds, I'll squeeze this north hand. I think I just need to rely on guessing spades well at the end. Okay, so I've set up my king of clubs. Uh, I need... I need west to have five clubs. I need east to have the aces of spades. So... I'm not even going to cash all of the diamonds because I'm going to be squeezing the north end. Oop. Okay, I pitched a, the queen of spades, which now I can just throw a, a spade away and now just lead a spade. But they take their ace. And we're down one. So 57% there. Um, all the spades were on side. Wonder if I can make it after the heart lead. No, down two is the the, uh, the most. Dennis said, um, Pete, who are you watching at the World Bridge Championships? Uh, th there's a bunch of exciting teams um, that we're going for. So, uh, like, the, the front runners to win the Bermuda Bowl are basically, like, most of the European teams or the US teams. They're sort of like usually the perennial favorites there. Um, kind of like Netherlands, they've been like slowly uh, building up towards stuff. So uh, the Switzerland team uh, is effectively the old Monaco team, um, but they've just relocated to Switzerland. Um, they're like really strong, they're the previous winners. Um, but I really like sort of the culture that uh, the Dutch have been um, building there. So uh, if I had to pick, I'm going to, my pick for winning the Bermuda Bowl will be um, Netherlands. Um, they came second last time. They, they like have same partnerships there. Uh, they're a bunch of good guys. So yeah. And number six. So we've got a flat 12 count. Um, so one club. Diamond, double. This is awkward. Uh, my partner's got 4-4 four, four in the majors. I don't have a diamond stopper. I could look at bidding two clubs. I'm also just looking at just bidding one spade. Like, um, all my points are in the majors. So let's try it. We'll try a spade. Partner will probably, you know. Uh, partner couldn't bid four spades. There's no way I'm bidding. But... Uh, I like where all my points are, and this is how you find your fits. You just bid your three card suits. The the other day I was, I was playing with a friend who hadn't played for a while ago, a while, and I opened a bit light in third seat, and then he bid a new suit, and I was like, oh yeah, cause I, I really don't want to bid a note. I got a, I had a one four five three, and I was like, yeah. Uh, and no trump's no good. So I just bid my three card club suit in that case. And I managed to find his six card suit. So yeah, I opened light. What are the, what are the chances? Um, but yeah, so <laughs> you bid your three card suits. It's the easiest way to find their actual fits. Now here with the north hand, I actually prefer just bidding one spade rather than doubling because if you start with a double, it's actually pretty hard to find your five, three fit unless your partner is just very creative and likes bidding them. Um, but yeah, here we've got two diamond losers. We've got two club losers and we're missing the queen of hearts, but I probably just want to try and trump two hearts, but I will need to create an entry to do that. I've got really good spades up here, but uh, West bid one diamond, two diamonds. 
queen drop? No. Okay, so here I've created the entry where I can now um, rough a diamond over there. So we'll just play low. And then... Uh, I'm worried about the eight of spades now, but I'm going to stick to my plan. Okay, good. And we'll just rough that and then uh, rough with the ace of spades. Um, I wonder if it was better if I just won the uh, nine of spades to begin with, but uh, they, get, they get one more club and uh, making three. 96%. Okay, so a bunch of people rebid one no trump. Yeah, so if you just bid one no trump, notice how North can't, like you never find your 5 3 spade pit. That's why I really like reserving this double for just uh, precisely 4 4. All right, um, hand number seven, uh, we've got. 10, 17? Yeah. So partner's just stamining, three now it is. Okay, 10 of diamonds lead. We've got four heart tricks. Three diamonds is seven, a club is eight. My fourth diamond could set up, but this 10 of diamonds makes me think that diamonds aren't splitting. I could build a spade trick, um, but that's a bit slow. But like the opponent should probably be attacking uh, spades. Uh, I kind of want to work on clubs. Um, now, ideally I would want to play like a club to the ace and a club back, but I might lose three clubs doing that. So I'm thinking of just playing a club to the nine. Ooh, okay, there's the 10. And okay, they've got the jack, and yeah, they'll be able to build a couple of take a couple of spades. Now my spade's good. Okay. So we just toss the club and see if the diamonds break. Oh, baby, they work. Nice. Diamonds were 3-3 three, three all along. Wasn't expecting it, but we get the beer card. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, nice beer and 68% for it. We're just over 70%. One board to go. Three hearts from my partner, and we've got 18 points. Okay, so if they've got like ace king to seven hearts, then we would have seven hearts, five clubs, two aces. What's that? 14 tricks. If I've got king, queen, jack to six, seven hearts, uh, we lose a heart, but we might lose a spade or a diamond, but maybe we could throw it on clubs. I've got ace queen of hearts. Uh, I think slam's still like a decent prospect. So let's bid four. No, we'll just key card them. Uh, they have one or four key cards. So we're off one. Okay. So just bid six hearts. Spade lead comes, but uh, hopefully we can get rid of that on the second club. We have a diamond loser later that we can throw on the third club. And we just want to um, throw trumps after we've gotten rid of our spade loser. It will lead towards the king, queen of hearts in case there was like ace, jack, third on side. Okay, we can rough that high. And we got the rest of the tricks, so we can make slam. 92%. Uh, so we finished with 73%. So good showing all up. Uh, just the one slam that we tried that didn't work. Uh, but yeah, hope you enjoyed this week's tournament. Thanks all for watching and we'll see you next time.
ไปนะ